Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Sex skills are a great equalizer. Sex skills are a great equalizer. Now, y'all know I promote the body game and, you know, getting your personality right and definitely the masculinity, right? You know I promote those things, right? I promote those things. So... You know, I'm like, yeah, this works. This 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 works. But let's be real. Let's be real, especially with the body game part, because you know I've emphasized it so much. Ninety nine percent of the population is not going to be an alpha showpiece. Male population is not going to be an alpha showpiece. Like you just got that like drop dead handsome face and killer body, muscles all in the right place, nicely proportioned, really turning on a woman. It ain't going to be that way. And even if you do work out, even though any man can improve what they got, and every man should try to be the best version, there's still some genetics in there, right? I mean, that's just a reality. You know, it's, uh, you know, you're not going to be, you know, a lot of women like a tall guy. You might not be that tall, Right. A lot of women like that athletic bill guy, but you're naturally endomorphic, which means you're going to have a little bit more natural body fat, right? You can still work out and stuff, still try to be your best. But, you know, it's, you know, depending on where you at, you might come across as more average, even if you're in shape. I mean, that's just a reality. It takes a lot to build that super body, but it's still the body. That's still something. And then you're still going through the process of even even if you're building and everything, that process takes a couple of years. It's not a quick process, all right? So even then, and then you got to have the time to do it. It's a lot to it, right? But here's the thing. Now, what does the body do? What does the body do? It turns on a woman sexually. And then, you know, the personality, being personable, having some charisma seals the deal. You know, get you in bed with her, and then the masculinity helps get her wet. You know, she's turned on. It's like, oh, this masculine man with a nice body. You still, even with that, you still got to have sex skills. You still got to have sex skills. So if you got all that, you can be an alpha showpiece. You still got to be good in bed. Yes, you you turn her on initially, but you got to still complete the job in the bedroom, right? One of the things that's a great equalizer is the sex skills. Now... I promote the body game and all that, but yet you get guys who might be a little bit overweight or even a lot overweight, but they still getting women. They still getting women. In fact, the women are uh, going crazy over these guys, right? Or you get uh, maybe a guy who's real stick thin or something. He's underweight, but women still going crazy over him. What are they doing? Because what happens is this is a very simple process, very simple. They have enough. Notice I said enough. They got to have, like every man got to have enough to even get a woman to even want to think about having sex with them. And, you know, it could be a different situation, different things happen or whatever, or circumstances. And, you know, women have five types of sex. You know, it might, you might just, it could, it, you know what, it could even be pity sex. Like she say, I ain't really attracted, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give this dude some anyway. She might be thinking like that or, you know, she just needs something to do at that moment. She just, you're just a, like uh, preferable to a dildo, you know, or shoot, you could, you can give her that money. Or you can, especially if you're in a relationship with her and stuff, right? You got enough to get in a relationship. Yeah. And yeah, you ain't getting that full lust sex at first. But you get in bed and you turn her out. You turn her out. You got that skill. You got her going, ow, 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 ow. You know, you got her going, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, shoot, you get in there. You have her hollering. She doing octaves. You know, toes curling and stuff. You know, normally she can't bend her legs back to her head or something. You got her doing that. And you ain't even out for showpiece. Shoot, don't look like you go near a gym. Don't got all of that. You tearing it up. Because, like, I knew this guy, right? I knew this guy. And he he was clinically obese. And this this was after, like, getting his stomach stapled. He was still obese. 
That's how big he was. But he had young, very attractive women going crazy over him. And the thing was, because he had no problems looking them in the eye and say, I'll eat that pussy out. But hey, that's a sex skill. That's a sex skill. You know? And he'd tell them straight up. They'd be like, oh, wait. Or, you know, I knew this other, I knew a woman. She told me. She's like, it was a guy she called, uh, it was a guy she, 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 in her own words, he was just a nice guy. He was just a nice guy. She wasn't really attracted to him. She wasn't feeling him or anything. But for some reason, she did that kind of something to do sex with him, right? And she got with him, and he turned her out. And she was like, hey, he got skills. He got skills. Like, a lot of times, we ain't talking about how skilled a man needs to be in bed. It's like, especially um, in this general corner where we're we're talking about as a whole, debate and talking with women as a whole. Even myself, I talk mainly about the bait. And, well, I don't talk about the sex skills publicly. I talk about them on my $20 tier on uh, on uh, my Patreon. If y'all want to get into that, hey, the link is in the description box. I talk about it there, but I don't do it publicly. A lot of people don't talk about it publicly. But you that type... You get your skills up where you can turn them out. Like if you learn Tantra, like you learn Tantra and something, because you got a lot of Tantra masters and they wouldn't get their pics, uh, they wouldn't get a lot of likes on their pics on like social media or anything like that. But once they get in there or they know how to touch a woman, right? Because I've known some dudes, right? I've known some dudes who on the surface, women would call them non-select. Women would call them non-select, and, you know, they they don't have all that, but they'll, they'll manage enough to get to that woman. They'll manage enough, because understand something with the select, non-select. All non-select men are not incels. A whole lot of them will get sex. It's just they ain't going to get it the same way a select man would. They got to do a lot. They might have to pay a lot. They might have to do something. You know, it could be the sympathy thing, too, or the uh, pity sex. Right, but once they get in there, and you know they take their time with that woman, touch her in the right places, everything, like really, like engage in foreplay. Like you get one, like I knew this guy, I knew this guy. Now this dude, we used to call him. He was an older guy, call him Kool Aid. That's how his body was built. He was built like Kool Aid, like small legs, big old stomach, all that stuff. But some of the women, I've seen some of the women he had. I was like, good God. But this dude, and he'll sit there, he'll sit there and have that conversation about sex. He'll be like, yeah, man. I spent one hour on a woman's breast. <laughs> you know? So that dude knew how to make love to a woman. But that was the equalizer. It worked for him. Like when I say he was with some fine women, boom. Now, you still want to get your bait up. Let's be real with it. Don't 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 hear this and say, "Well, I'll get my sex skills up." You still gotta have something to get them, even to get to that point. You gotta have some, you know. Your charisma gotta be off the chain. Some you gotta have one of those. You gotta have either that physicality, that charisma off the chain, or the masculinity that works. But you usually need the first two to even get to that point, because you can be as masculine as possible, and you know the women still be like. Mm. It's tougher. It can work, but it's tougher. But as long as the guy got some, but it, you know the best is still to get your physical physicality in the best shape. You know, have some style or some. You know, get that bait. And just to not, I mean, you just need enough to get be able to go to the bedroom with. Then when you get in there, boom, boom. You know, you in there, you can stroke for a few hours or something. Psh. You know, got her like, huh, huh, know where to touch her at. Boom. That's the great equalizer, the skills. You know? And even some of these guys out here, because I know some of y'all be hitting those escorts or something. Shoot. Pay the escort a little bit extra and just say, hold up. I don't just want to bust none. I want to take my time on some stuff. All right. If you got to go that route. But, yeah, sex skills are a great equalizer. Anyway, get back with y'all later. Peace.